Hi there. This is the first in a series of videos for people getting started with Jira Cloud, and in particular, its next-gen projects and features. At its heart, Jira is a tool for allocating, organizing, and keeping track of your daily work. So, if you're a Jira user, at the start of your day, you'll open up your Jira browser window, like you would your calendar or email, and use it to view the tasks you have to do that day, update it so that you and others can see your progress, and eventually mark your tasks as complete. Okay, so how does it work? Let's start with one of the most important principles of Jira. In Jira, the work that you do on a day-to-day -day basis is broken down into individual, manageable tasks, making it easy to see what needs to be done to complete your organization's projects. In Jira, these individual pieces of work are known as issues, and they look like this. Then when you click on them, they expand to look like this. We go through issues in more detail in a different video, but notice they contain all the info you need to complete the task. They describe what work is needed, they contain links to any relevant information, and they let you keep track of due dates and priorities, and potentially a whole lot more too. In Jira, your issues reside in projects, so you can see how the small tasks you complete contribute to the success of your wider goals. And in each project, you can see your issues on a board, where you'll be able to indicate what status you're at with each of them, from to do, through in progress, to done, or whatever the columns are called in your board. Jira is available in two basic formats. You can run Jira Server on your own dedicated servers, or you can let the makers at Lassian handle that admin and hosting for you and choose Jira Cloud. There's even a data center option for enterprise customers, but we don't discuss that here. Cloud can be a more user-friendly experience, but it still helps to have a bit of a guide when you first start out, and this series of videos is designed for users of Jira Cloud. If you are in need of instruction in Jira Server, check the links in the description for info on our training courses on Adaptivist Learn. So what does next gen mean? Well, Jira has several incarnations. The server or data center options are highly customizable and can be daunting and complex pieces of software. That's great for larger businesses who have dedicated administrators to take care of things behind the scenes, but for smaller businesses or individual users, the more traditional versions of Jira may be too complex and unmanageable. Jira Cloud, and specifically the next gen projects, are the Atlassian option for small businesses or larger businesses who want to give their teams more autonomy. Jira Next Gen packages up a whole lot of administrative power into a simple user interface that non-expert users can handle straight out of the box. That means anyone can take advantage of Jira's industry-leading work organization templates, Kanban and Scrum, without the need for dedicated admins. You won't find Jira Cloud Next Gen advertised as an individual product, though. Next Gen functionality is simply packaged with Jira Cloud, and you might not even recognize that you're using it. But whatever the size of your business, if you want to take advantage of Jira's power in a much simpler format, these videos will show you how. Before we dive into Jira, here are a couple of tips that could save your organization a lot of time later on. Before purchasing Jira Cloud, check that your organization hasn't already purchased a license. Jira works best when everyone in a business has access to the same instance, so that you can coordinate projects, add links to issues, and easily communicate between departments about your work. Using permissions, you can give access to the right people in the right projects in one company-wide instance. And speaking of permissions, Jira Cloud includes project templates that allow you to set a simple restriction level for project access. This restriction level allows you to choose which users and groups have access at any time. Those with Jira Administrator access can also set some global permissions. For example, by default, every user in an instance can create new next-gen projects but a Jira admin can turn this feature off if needed. And that leads us to our final tip, a word of warning. With great power comes great responsibility. Projects can get out of hand quickly and build up in your instance. So make sure you coordinate with your team or other users before creating one. Jira works best when every user knows what kind of issues belong to which projects and where they should create new issues. Talk to your team or the other teams on your Jira instance and take some time to think about how you divide your work. Your goal is that everyone knows where to find issues and the number of projects in your instance is kept to a manageable level.